Welcome back. We continue our explanation of how the naive Bayes Bayesian classifier uh, works. In the last video, we explained the main idea behind it and we gave an example. And we said that uh, because it's based on frequency tables, if we have categorical data, then that's fine. If we have numerical data, we can either transform it into categorical data or we can use another way. Now, in this video, I'm going to explain to you that other way. Um, if we have numerical variables, as we mentioned, we can use binning to transform them into categorical variables so we can build our frequency tables. Or the other option is to basically use the distribution of the numerical variables to have a good guess of the frequency. And notice, we deal with them one variable at a time because we need to build a frequency table for each variable at a time against the uh, class. Now, for example, one common practice is to assume normal distributions for numerical variables and for normal distribution for normal distributions we know the probability density function for the normal distribution is defined by two parameters is defined by the mean and the standard deviation the mean is uh, the sum of all the values divided by number of values and the standard deviation is calculated through this standard formula 1 over n minus 1 times the summation of for each point or for each value x minus mu square mu is the um, x minus mu and we square that and mu a, and mu is our mean and then we take the square root of that and the function now for the normal distribution is the standard one that we are all familiar with so again to assume for each numerical uh, variable or, uh, or uh, attribute or a predictor we assume it has a normal distribution and we calculate the mean and standard deviation for each variable or for each attribute or predictor at a time and use the normal distribution let's take an example for example for our weather data we actually have two uh, two sort of different uh, data sets for uh, the weather data one of them is categorical the one we've seen before and another one is numerical and for humidity, for the numerical data set, if we take the attribute or the predictor humidity, we can have these values. And for the classes, yes and no. For the, for, the, yes, for the class, yes, we have, because we have 14 instances, we have 86, 96, 80, and so on and so forth. And for no, we have 85, 90, 70, da, da, da. And then we compute the mean and standard deviation for each of them, for each class. And now we can just find the probability of, for example, if we if we say, for example, if we have humidity equals 74 now, just uh, as, as an input, if humidity is 74, do we play or not? So we calculate the probability of yes or not. Probability of humidity is 74. Given a yes, is we just plug these values for the yes in our um, in our uh, 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 function for the normal distribution and we do the same thing for the no we plug that for our in, into our uh, formula for, for the normal distribution and these are likelihoods so we just normalize them as we did before in the last video uh, uh, when we took that example if you remember and we just output the value of the probability for either yes or no now to find the predictor contribution for the um, for the uh, naive Bayes classifier, we can use Kononenko's information gain as the sum of information contributed by each attribute. Yes, so Kononenko's information gain it can offer an explanation on how values of the predictors influence the class probability, how much effect these predictors or these attributes, each how much each of them. Uh, uh, how much effect each of them has on the class probability and the formula is log to base 2 probability of the class given the the uh, 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 predictor x minus the log to base 2 of the probability of the class itself we can compute that and see for each predictor now we can compute that and see how much each of them contributes or how much each of them influences the class probability one more thing uh, 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 is the nomograms the nomograms 
can be used to visualize the contribution of predictors. Nomograms, they plot log odds, ra log odds ratios for each value of each predictor. The length of the lines correspond to spans of odds ratios, suggesting importance of the related predictor. They also show impacts of individual values of the predictor. This is just an example of a nomogram, something that I wanted to mention. I hope it makes sense. So this is how we deal with uh, numerical data. If we want to uh, build a naive base classifier, we can either use binning to transform it into categorical, or we can assume it has a normal distribution and we compute the mean and the standard deviation, and then we compute the likelihood for different classes. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.